<clears throat> Oosa, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and wherever you are, good night, depending on what side of the world, the planet you're on. If you're not here with us live on the Black Women in Grants TikTok channel, why not? Where you at? Come on, we waiting on you. It's really early in my book. It's 9 a.m. Well, 8 a.m., my bad. It's early. So, TikTok is notifying our viewers that I'm a lot earlier than I usually am. But, for good reason, I'm really excited. So, come in. Let's chat, girl. I'm up. Got some coffee, working, and thinking about y'all with these grants, honey. I hope y'all are ready. Come in. Good morning. I know many of you may be on your way to work. Probably getting up yourselves. Just getting the day started. I'm glad I could be a part of that and you a part of my day. Come in. Say hello. How are you? Let's chat. I've been working on some things I wanted to share with you guys. I couldn't hold it. I could not wait. So let's get this party started. Good morning and welcome to Black Women in Grants, where we help black women, for-profit, small business owners find and apply for grants with confidence for their black woman-owned, for-profit, small business. I'm Dr. AJ Austin. Glad to have y'all here. Say hello in the chat, especially if you're new here. If you're returning, hey girl, welcome back. Good to see you. In the chat as well, just put the name of your industry if you want me to tell you whether or not your business could win a grant. That is the number one question I hate answering. And God just gave me a download this morning to help y'all. So here I am being obedient, saying yes, and it ain't going to be what you think. Thank you very much. So put your industry in the chat and let me help you. Now, shout out. I don't know who it was because we got 69,000 of y'all in the um, Black Women in Grants TikTok community on our page. And I've been posting a video every single day this month. Well... We missed a couple days. One was thanks to TikTok and others I ran out of videos to post. So I had to go re-record re some more. So we got TikToks up every day since that. Um, and someone asked on the video, can they get a grant for their business? And I was like, you know, I know that I know the answer. I guess because I get asked it all the time. I'm like, man. So I was like, what if I just did a live about what business industries can or cannot get a grant? If y'all want to know my answer to whether or not your business, yeah, you listening to me right now live, can get a grant, put it in a chat, and it ain't going to be what you think, and you welcome. <laughs> Good morning. Did I tell you my name? I'm Dr. A.J. Austin, lead professor here at Grant Prep Academy, winner of over $1 million in grants and grant-funded opportunities. Happy to share with you what I know for sure. I don't know what an NP is, so if you could spell it out, like I don't know you, because I don't, put your industry in the chat if you're curiosity about whether or not you can get a grant. What type, and y'all, be Pacific, like the ocean, okay? So, I don't know what a consulting business is, unless you tell me what type of consulting you do. Dr. E, spell out consulting, I mean uh, NP. So, the only one I'm answering right now, let's see. Briar or Brie? My bad, girl. It's early. Brie um, says she has an auto repair. Ooh, I'm going to start with no angels first. Thank you, girl. She said I'm a small farmer. Let me tell you this. I'm going to let you answer this one. Hold on, no angel. I got something very special for you. Wait a minute. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Since you are a farmer in the Dell, I don't even know what that means. It was a nursery rhyme. And it went with the moment, so work with me here. Y'all keep putting your industries in the chat. Um, I cannot find my... Over at blackwomeningrants.com, no angel. You can get your answer right away. There we go. I got it pulled up for you. Blackwomeningrants.com. So, it's for black women, for-profit small business owners who are seeking grants. So, if you know for sure that you're ready to apply for funding, whether or not I tell you your industry is on this list or not... Um, head over to blackwomenandgrants.com and click on the button to join the Grant Game Mentorship Program that's there for you. There's also an, an ebook there. It's only 27 bucks. It teaches you secrets 
about applying for grants. But if you scroll down, it's a big old picture on there. This lady named Raven, Raven DuVernay. She's from Baltimore, Maryland. She got on here about a week and a half ago with me on live. And she said, Dr. AJ Austin, you taught us how to tell our stories on a small business grant application. And I got something to tell you. I said, girl, you better tell me you're making me nervous. She said, I won six figures in funding for telling my story as a black woman owned for profit farmer in Baltimore, Maryland. So no angel. What you think? You think you can win a grant? Because Raven sent me her pictures. Her check is for $100,710. She wrote a testimonial. Or she said a testimonial and Chat GPT typed it out for me. So anyway, Dr. AJ's guidance has been transformative for my business. I've always valued continuous learning. And Dr. Austin's advice stood out for being accurate and actionable particularly her insights on approaching grant applications from the reviewer's perspective. I applied for financial assistance through the USDA. I know you know what that is, don't you? I do too, girl. The process was both intense and detailed. With Dr. Austin's tips, I effectively structured my application, and to my amazement, I was awarded a six-figure sum far more than I expected. The funding has allowed me to elevate my farming operation significantly. Beyond my own success, I also shared Dr. Austin's strategies with a few fellow farmers, and several of them received substantial financial awards, including one who won $59,000. I'm incredibly grateful for Dr. Austin's mentorship. Her advice has empowered me and many others to confidently navigate the complex world of grants and financial assistance. I highly recommend to any black woman entrepreneur seeking funding for their black woman owned small business, blackwomeningrants.com. Dr. Austin's insights are invaluable and her support has been instrumental in our collective success. Thank you, Dr. Austin, for helping us achieve our dreams and for being a beacon of light and hope and knowledge in our community. Sign Raven DuVernay of Dumberton Avenue Farm, $100,000 awardee of the USDA Discrimination Financial Assistance program no angel do you think you can qualify for a grant as a black woman for profit farmer what you think girl you let me know <laughs> i love it here okay um before no angel answer was Bree. She got auto repair. Let me see what other businesses we got in here. What we're doing, if you're just joining, good morning. I'm Dr. AJ Austin. I've won a lot of money in grants, a million dollars plus to be exact. I got some strategies that can help you. I see some people on here who could tell you, I got some strategies that can help you. So throw your business uh, industry in the chat and let's see. Dr. E said, nonprofit life coach and counseling. Good morning, Lisa Noble. How are you? I am up early, girl. I don't know what's going on with me this week. I've been in my old lady era, and I thought I'd be doing something, honey. I woke up early yesterday to go get a biscuit from Miss Winters. It was so good. And I walk out the door, my neighbor, fully dressed, walking down the sidewalk like she been up. Got a bag full of groceries in her hand because we live um, in walking distance of our local uh, market. And I was like... Ma'am, <laughs> what time did you rise this morning? So, yeah, I'm in my, and she's 60-something. So, yeah, we're in our old lady era over here. Up, got coffee. I ain't had no breakfast yet, but we're here. Okay, focused. So, good morning, Lisa. You up. You here. Good morning. <laughs> Lisa's in our mentorship over at blackwomenandgrants.com. She has applied for over $40,000 in her black woman-owned for-profit small business as a what? Lisa, what's your industry? Put it in the chat, girl. Consult us. Oh, you Espanol. Let me stop because every time I try to speak Spanish, TikTok ended up showing me all my FYP videos in Spanish. And I really, I'm very basic Spanish. I can't hold a full conversation. But anyway, you say you do credit consultation. Um, So what industry would that be? Is that like the financial industry? Well, I think that's specific enough. Hold on. I got something for you. Um, Port says the port princess says addiction to medicine 
is it, what what is that is that the name of your business let me know good morning welcome and that says i want to develop a nonprofit organization to create family family trees and find long lost relatives look at god that would be so cool no angel says i know there is something out there for me i had to read it like that amen there you go there go your answer I really want to help kids learn about farming and agriculture, the streets. Oh, you're going to love this answer I got coming for you, girl. You are in the right place. Amen. Okay. said, I think I can. I'm heading there now. And does. <laughs> Lisa. Friends and friends, good morning. Do you have for Latino people? This is for black women, for-profit small business owners. We don't exclude anybody. We don't discriminate. It's all love. You're welcome to stay. Just don't get weird. I have to block you. But um, if you got questions, ask them. It's going to be addressed to black women, for-profit small business owners. So, you know, you read that and you clicked on it and you came and joined us. And I'm telling you now, so if you choose to stay, girl, you're welcome. Okay. So now. Anybody else want to throw their industry in the chat real quick? Let me tell you whether or not you can get a grant for your business. Y'all better put these industries in here because that's the biggest question I or the most frequently asked question I get every time. And I'm tired of asking, answering the question, so I'm finna answer. Y'all ready? Put ready in the chat if you're ready to give me the answer. If you, let me slow down. That's that coffee. If you are ready for me to give you the answer to whether or not you can or cannot win a grant for your business, put ready in the chat. You got to spell it like I say it now. See if you're paying attention. You ready, Lizzie, do health and fitness, okay? Only two people ready. It's 12 of y'all on here. Three people. Two people. I can't count. i wait. Don't worry. i hope. Lakari, I didn't see what, um, thank you for spelling it right. <laughs> I didn't see what, uh, industry you was in, though. No. You already, thank you, Lisa. Lisa know how to play the bros, the games. Okay. Um, before I do that, what y'all need a grant for in these businesses? Let me know. You have an insulation business, like housing, like, what is that called? Is, is insulation the pink stuff that go in attics and the walls in the house? You mean insulation? Y'all better get Pacific like the ocean candle making, says Shanta. Okay. Cool. Girl, I'm trying to understand. Y'all be speaking foreign languages. Thank you, people. Just, you know, I got an N-P-L-E-C-T Q business. I don't know what that means. Could you please spell that out? And not just spell it. Put it hooked on phonics style because it works for me. Amen. All right. Cleaning company. Okay. What y'all need a grant for? Put it in the chat. Like if you had a blank check, right? And they said, you can have whatever you like. I sound just like T.I. Um, what would you use that money for? Housing insulation. We specialize in home. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Y'all don't know what y'all would use y'all grants for? Or y'all ain't thought about it. Y'all just thinking, free money. You got to have a plan. We call that a grant application strategy. So what would you use your grant for? Why are you thinking about that? Um, good morning. Welcome, newbies. Welcome to Black Women in Grants. We help black women, for-profit, small business owners, find and apply for grants for their black, woman-owned, for-profit, small business I'm waiting on at least one person to tell me what they could use a grant for before I tell you whether or not I'm going to kill your hopes and dreams of uh, finding and applying for a grant. Let's see. And when we started, I was fully charged on my phone. We already at 96%, so y'all better type, say something. Okay, thank you. Use a 331784. Okay. Make make proposals for company and making okay that don't make sense to me though. So what would y'all use a grant for? I ain't gonna answer yes, so y'all answer me. It is 15 people on here and zero have answered the question. So again, <clears throat> good morning, grant seeker, black woman, for profit, small business owner. If I gave you a check today, 
and you could put anything you love or you like on that check, how would you use the funds in your business? Okay, thank you, Lakara. She said for her installation company to help preserve energy, she needs box trucks and employees. Now, what's a box truck? Is it like, I think I know, because I think the plumber in my city drives a box truck. But like, is it like a brand? Like a, what, do you, what am I trying to say? What's the make model of the vehicle? Is it like a Benz or like a, like what the Amazon drivers drive? Ooh, I think they call them sprinter vans. I don't know. Be Pacific like the ocean. A grant. So a grant is going to ask you for specificities. Let me tell you, there was a business that needed a truck. They said, what kind of truck? He said, a Ford. They said, what kind of Ford? He had to go to two different car lots, shop the make and the model and the color and the year and both prices after, what's your, what you call it, where um, they come to the vehicle one price, but by the time they mark it up, it's another price. He had to do that. He had to give the catalog number. So it ain't going to work just to say, well, you know, we need box trucks. Don't nobody know what that is, but you... And probably the employees you want to bring on. So if you can get more Pacific, that'll be very helpful. I know y'all thinking, but uh, can you think and type and tell me what you're going to use these grants for? Shauna says, I've been using my personal savings. Mm, mm, mm. I'd use my grant to pay for marketing, website building, and products. So Shauna, there will be literally a hundred plus other grant applicants that's going to say the same thing. So how would a grant know that they should give you the grant? Can we get a little bit more specific about what type of marketing? Email marketing? Direct mail marketing? Marketing and advertising on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Google. You see what I'm saying? Marketing specifically. Website building. What do you need to do to your website that a hundred other people ain't going to need to do? Do you need a brand overhaul? Do you need it to be more interactive? Do you need your clients to be able to pay you on the website? Do you need it to be um, integrated with e-commerce where they can shop online? Do you need, you see what I'm saying? Pacific. You said products. Girl, what type of products? Hair products? Cleaning product? Y'all better help me help you help yourself on today. Anybody want to get Pacific and tell me what they would use their grants for before I tell you whether or not you could get a grant even for your business, Amlin? Good morning, newbies. Welcome. Put new in the chat if you're new here. You wonder what we're talking about. You don't know how to answer the question. You wish you could, but child, I just got here. Good morning, Macy. How are you? What's your business? We're just putting our categories of our businesses in the chat. We're putting what we could use a grant for in our business in the chat. So welcome to all of our newbies. If y'all want to play along, this is called the grant game. This is how you play the game of grants to win grants for your business. Not just talk about it. Not just learn about it, but win. Amen. OG, <laughs> original GPA -er. Look, look at God. So my oldies, welcome as well. I'm sorry, I ain't trying to leave y'all out. Good morning to old people. <laughs> Good morning, Maxie. How are you? Macy says, I have an innovative idea that I wonder what kind of money is out there for it. I wonder what you need a grant for for your business. I'm still waiting on 26 of y'all on here. To tell me what you're gonna use a grant for. Oh, look at look at the look at the Pacific's Lakari dropping in the chat. A 2019 Isuzu. I used to have an Isuzu. No, I used to have a Suzuki. My bad. They cousins. 2019 Isuzu white box truck to hold our heavy machinery. Now that you've thrown a new word, what type of machinery, girl? I thought it just come in a pack and you just put it in the walls. Ain't that how installation work? Child, I don't know, and neither will a grant committee. So machinery. I thought you were going to put the employees in there. What you going to do with this truck again? Lala said, I need startup money for a mobile margarita business. 
I need margarita machines and supplies new. Good morning, new here. Welcome. She said thank you. Lisa, you know you're always welcome. Good morning. Good morning, Tasha G. Okay. Last call to put your industry in the chat. And let me tell you whether or not it will qualify for a grant. Last call to tell me what you would do with a grant for your business. Tasha, I'm about to answer your question. Oh, no, I'm not. So this is for black women, for-profit, small business owners. I don't know what's out there for college students these days. I graduated so long ago, but I did get $100,000 plus in grants and grant-funded opportunities. So there used to be, back in the 90s and the 2000s, there was grants. There could be grants out there, but you would have to do a quick Google search for that answer, okay? Lakari says, we have a loose field blow. Look at that. Look at the explanation for the machinery. I love it. It also sprays foam insulation. Got it. That makes sense. What machine going to go in that box truck? Okay. Joaquin, don't sound like a woman's name, but, you know, you're welcome to hang out with us. This is for black women. Full profit, small business owners. Got to let you know so there's no confusion. Set your expectations. Two infusers, herbal remedies is my business, and I need money to expand it. So, Joaquin, you must be new here. Welcome. We're answering the question of what could you specifically, specifically, use a grant for in your business as well. Tasha G says a tax preparation business. Shauna says I'm trying. Maxine says, home for foster children to really keep children together. Macy says, I would like to get into textile recycling. I, I don't know what that is. I need shredders, cleaning, solvent, and warehouse. That's all that matters, that last part. Why can't you a woman? My bad, girl. Um, good morning. Right to a meeting. Bye, Lisa. Hey, Bam. How are you? Okay. Let me tell you the gist. Y'all ready? Put ready. I know some of y'all already put ready. If you put it, you ain't got to put it again. But the newbies that just joined us, tell me you ready to learn whether or not your business qualifies for a grant. I'm about to tell you, I promise. Blackwomeningrants.com is a great place to find all of these different businesses that have won grants. And I've helped them win it. So, I got, let me see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, five. I got five tips to tell you whether or not your business will qualify for a grant. Somebody, anybody, put a number between one and five, and I'm going to tell you what that tip is that lines up with that number. Who's going to be the first one? Five tips. Okay, let me see. Let me scroll. Three, says Macy. She won. She was first. Whew. Woosa. Okay. Any business, no matter what business you have, can win a grant. So instead of asking, can I get a grant for insert name of your business, insert industry of your business, Let's change that question to, there is a grant for my business. Let me see who can put that in the chat. I thought y'all said y'all was ready. Oh, okay. Macy ready. That, look at that. That is so pretty and specific. Bam, ready. Re ready. There is a grant for anything you can think of in the small business world. It's all about how you finesse that application. Somebody put finesse in the chat. It ain't lying. However, it's getting real creative with how you apply for these grants, okay? That's the key word. So we call it finessing and filling out that form, okay? So it's about finding, finessing, and filling out the form. Those are our three F's today. So 
because now we know that there is a grant for your business, right? Number three on our tip goes very well with your niche or niche, okay? All that means is what do you specialize in within your industry because that's going to matter. Sometimes you can find a grant that matches with the type of business you have, a.k.a. your niche or niche, and they're available within maybe specific communities or your specific industry. But other than that, grants depend on four other things. So that's one of our tips from five. Somebody put another number other than three, another number other than three that we have not yet covered. And um, I'm going to line that up with what number tip that is on our list of five. Thank you for the roses. Okay, Brie won is when she put four. Four is all about the application or we call it a grant application strategy or gas. Somebody put gas in the chat, G-A-S, because that's exactly what you need, a grant application strategy. So number four is about before you go and apply for a grant, you're going to need to be able to clearly articulate the purpose of you even applying for the grant. So if you've ever wondered, where do I start? How do I get started? What's the first step? Not only did I just post a TikTok video for y'all yesterday on step one and finding a grant, this is step one, figuring out why you need a grant. So I asked you guys, what would you use a grant for in your business? And out of 20 plus people, maybe one person answered the question. So I'm going to give y'all a second chance to tell me, what would you use a grant for in your business? Because if you don't know what you would use the money for, you'll get denied. Or if they don't understand exactly how you'll use the money, you won't win. I'm speaking from personal experience. So I was selected for a $50,000 grant earlier this year in January. And they had rounds, so I made it to round two. My first application was selected out of 500. So they love my business idea. They loved it so much that they wanted to hear more. What they wanted to hear more of was, how am I going to use this $50,000? They were going to give two checks for $25K. But because my plan wasn't as detailed as they, as they would like, they're like, here's how you can make your application stronger for next time. It's not a no, it might be a not this round, but if you want to come back and apply again, here's what exactly what we would be looking for. And it all boiled down to tell us more about the specifics of how you will use this funding. Marketing, not good enough. What type of marketing? Do you need a marketing team? If so, what are their titles? Chief marketing officer, social media marketing. They're going to do social media marketing they're gonna do direct mail marketing they're gonna do email marketing you got to get specific and then be able to break down that cost because just generalizing is not good enough trust me bro macy's gonna use her grant for warehouse and shredders tasha said i would like to use a grant to cover the cost to prepare taxes for low-income family and education got it so we've talked about how you're going to have to finesse now. That means just get creative with how you describe what you do. Because some grants, are, while they are specific to industries at times, more than likely they're going to be um, looking for these other categories that we're going to talk about. We also talked about your grant application strategy or GAS. Because when you're applying for a grant, you need to clearly articulate how you're going to use the funds. To help you achieve the goals that you have for your business. So you have to be specific. Not only about how you're going to use the funds. But let me ask this question. And see who will be the first to answer to win this round. How will your business winning a grant impact your community? Thank you Tasha. We call that social impact. So what will be your impact in your business if or when you win a grant? What's your social impact? How are you helping the community? How will your business winning a grant help serve a greater purpose? Bye.
by making sure that energy bills are lower. Mm, some people don't care about that. So keep digging. That might be important to you and your bottom line, but think about the people that your business impacts. What else would having a lower energy bill do for the people? Um, Bree says I will be able to hire more employees. Well, tell us about those employees. Are they single moms? Is it an all-woman team? Are they from low-income, underserved communities? Are they minorities? Are they um, formerly incarcerated? Are they helping you meet the quota in your community to help with the unemployment rate? You see how you got to get specific? You got to tell the social impact in a way that's going to make a grant care. Tell us about those employees. Tasha says it will help keep money in the pockets of families that can't afford to pay for tax preparation. Um, hmm. Have you ever researched that, Tasha? Because what if they're like, well, aren't there other resources out there that do taxes for free for low-income people? What sets you apart? Why should we give you money to do that and the government already does that free? How would you answer that? Macy says they come from the community. What community? I don't think I'm clear on that. Shauna says it's hard for candle making business. Speaking of candles, mine is too loud. Hold on, I gotta turn it down. It smells really good, but I'm too close to it and it's gonna give me a headache. I had the bright idea to get it burning this morning and it's burning a little too. I got it on a warmer, girl. I gotta climb, turn it down. Okay. Run me out of here. Smell good, though. Let's see. That's hard for a candle-making business. It's not. I just told you I'm sitting here breathing in toxins for the sake of a smell. That's not hard to explain why we need certain types of candles with certain type of organic, non-toxic ingredients that are better for the envir environment, better for lungs, because air inside a home is more toxic than air outside at times when you're stuck inside with chemicals and your windows aren't open and the air isn't flowing, air quality. It's not hard. And I ain't even in the candle business. I'm just nosy. So I read a lot. That's how I know that. Um, Keep digging. Keep digging. Keep digging. Providing temperature, comfort for their home. That's a cute slogan for your business, but you still got to dig into social impact. Keep digging. Because people can say, what about people without a home? What about people who ain't worried about? They just want to play their rent and keep a roof over their head. They'll figure out energy later. Then what you going to say? Tasha says, yes, there are. I figured if there are resources that are doing that, they are getting grants as well. And they're government based. So what's going to set you apart from them? Why would they need to give you a grant to do the same thing the government does for free? Because those are the businesses you're going to be competing with. Other people trying to do the same thing. So what makes you stand out? Bam says, I'll be able to support the Little John Community Center to help low-income families with resources. Where is Little John? Because the Little John I know is from Atlanta, down the street from me. He was just on the, what, Democratic National Convention? The one that's saying, yeah, with Ursher. That's the only little John I know, girl. Or little, oh, no, I'm thinking of Lone John Silvers, my bad. Um, what type of resources are you going to help him with? Because, again, y'all got to think, there are other people that do what you do. So what would make you stand out with how you're going to use this grant, what you're going to use it for, and who you're going to help as it relates to a greater purpose, an overall need, social impact, helping the community. TT, good morning. She says, by helping and supporting, by doing food giveaway and knocking on doors. What you knocking on people's doors for, child? I got a sign on my door that say, no soliciting. What you want? That's how people respond, at least here in the hood. I mean, um, what you knocking on doors for? And don't churches already give away food? What's going to make you stand out? Why don't we just give it to the, in, in Atlanta, it's the Atlanta Community Food Bank. We can just write our check to them. Why we got to give it to TT, knocking on people's doors and stuff? What's going to make you stand out? Shauna says, oh, well, when you said that, mine's definitely eco-friendly. I know, Shauna, y'all got to keep digging. 
I be knowing what I'm talking about sometimes. Um, Macy <laughs> says recycle textiles. I don't know what that is. Are used to create new towels. Oh, okay. Break it down, Mace. Help us understand. Sheet rock and socks for shelters. Now, now, Macy, this might be my favorite social impact I've ever heard ever since ever. That is gorgeous. So you telling me whatever a recycled textile is, <laughs> I'm assuming it has to do with, uh, was it insulation? If I remember correctly. They can, you, new towels and sheets and socks for shelters. Is that why they be so rough and itchy sometimes? Wow. Now that's a social mission right there. So if I understand it correctly, I could be mixing all y'all businesses together and coming up with something, but that sounds phenomenal, Macy. Thank you for sharing that. You is on to something now. Tasha says, I'll pick another industry. I have a few different businesses. Tasha, you cannot run for competition, honey. This is the great game. That means there are winners and there are people who haven't won yet. We don't call them losers. We don't say you get rejected or denied. But if you run into another industry because of competition, no, ma'am. Come back. What your mama say? You better go out there and fight. That's what my mama used to say, because I ain't like fighting. I'm going to walk away. You better go hit her back. No, I'll take the whipping. But anyway, stand up in the face of competition. <laughs> so all you have to do is figure out what you do differently. The reason why you wanted to create the same business has been here for industries. I said industries. That ain't what I meant, but you know what I mean, you know? Um, just tell them why you're different. Don't, don't run away. It's possible. We said there was a grant for your business. <laughs> if you don't get it, somebody else will. You got to just tell us why you're different. Because even if you go to another business, you still got to tell us why you're different. <laughs> there is nothing new under the sun, according to the Bible. So wherever you run business-wise, somebody already there, honey. So then it's going to be like, well, why are you different in this building? Girl, I should have stuck with taxes. Dang. So anyway. Maxine says, wow, I'm happy I stumbled, up, stumbled into the knowledge that you are giving classes about this. Girl, class started a, a minute ago. I'm so glad you're here. I feel like we're about halfway through. But I don't know, y'all. If y'all keep talking to me, we're going to see. Lakari says, my business, and that's the point, Lakari. Ooh. So she said, my business doesn't help people without a home, though. But how could it? Not that you have to serve them. Not that you have to cater to them. But how could it help people without a home? How could some of the profits, some of the grant funding help those without a home? It doesn't have to be your main focus. It could be just a portion of your impact. For example, 5% of our profits go to help our local, local shelter turn textiles into blankets, sheets, and socks. That right there, that social impact. That was so beautifully described. I'm just, I'm in love with that. What is the greater cause that your business could be contributing, though, from the money that you're making through people with houses, saving low on their energy, the money that you're helping them save, the money that you want to grant to help other people save money, how could it impact your industry for people without a home? That would be such a beautiful story to tell if you chose to tell that story. That's called social impact. Grants love giving funding to people leaving a legacy. Your competition at the moment is leaving the same legacy you're leaving. There's another company that does exactly what you do. However, what if you were the company that did have a social mission that also impacted people who could be your potential customer in the future? They don't have a home yet. I've been that person sleeping in a car, sleeping in a shelter, sleeping on floors and couches of family and friends. Now I have a newly renovated home. So I was once the people without a home. But now I get stopped by construction workers. People knock on my door. You need any work? Oh, I got a home now. Let me find something for you to do. You see what I'm saying? Somebody's social impact helped me get here. Hey man, I've won over a million dollars in funding. That includes housing. So, how could you help people without a home? Bam says, reset your goals, sugar. <laughs> Was that for Tasha, who's running? 
Clemson, South Carolina. Okay. I think somebody from my high school used to play for Clemson, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. Nothing about no sports, though. I know a little bit, but not enough. Tasha, have a meeting to attend. Come back to your patient. Learn more. Have a great day. The replay for this live will be in our mentorship over at blackwomeningrants.com. Tasha, if you want to come join us, get a scholarship. We have a, a year-long scholarship um, that allows you to come learn with us for a whole year in the mentorship. Blackwomeningrants.com. Chiggity, check it out. Allison says the grant will elevate the community in areas of education for varying ages and low-income area. That sounds good, Tasha, but it's not clear enough. So what community? You said the community. The community could be anywhere in the world. In areas of education, what areas of education specifically? Financial literacy, life skills, what area for varying ages? Um, we know ages vary. That's a given from zero to death. Pick an age or an age group give us that in low income areas what's considered low income 100 percent 200 percent 300 percent below the poverty level what's the poverty level in your community you see how you gotta get pacific bam says going to the drawing board macy says breaking down old clothes got it got it shredding old clothes they are filling up the dump yep they are fast fashion so your impact could be partnering with fast fashion companies, saving clothes from um, being thrown in a dump, filling up landfills, carbon emissions. Grants love that word. How are you saving the environment, saving the ozone, environmentally friendly, recycling, upcycling, all that. I did mix business, didn't I? I knew it. I knew that's what I was doing. <laughs> um, if you're new here, welcome. This is for black women. For profit, small business owners, we are talking about having a social impact in your business. LJCC, I don't know what that is. Maybe that's your business name, bam. Has been so great, and I have seen the impact they make, especially with youth. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about, but okay. Wow, now to bring, amen. I'll give y'all this tip for free. A lot of the confusion around how your business could help with social impact is to um, throw this in chat GPT. Let it spit out some ideas for you as to how your business can have social impact. Because as we see what we've talked about so far, grants love when you can tell them the difference between you and someone like you with the same type of business like you got trying to do the same thing you're trying to do is um in line for that grant too so what's gonna make you stand out that's how you finesse so instead of being like can i get a grant as an installation carpet cleaner with a box truck just know that there is a grant for your business as long as your business have this social impact or an educational component to where you want to help other people in your business and here's how you're gonna do it to stand out y'all got it put got it in the chat is this helping y'all brainstorm think through the grant application process also known as the gap What questions can I answer for you guys? Let me know. And let's keep chatting. I wasn't supposed to be on here till 11 this morning, but I'm up. Here we are. Welcome, newbies. If you're new here, put new in the chat. I'm Dr. AJ Austin, winner of over $1 million in grants and grant-funded opportunities. Creator of the space, blackwomeningrants.com. Blackwomeningrants.com is... Our year-long mentorship for black women with for-profit small, business uh, small businesses that are seeking grants for their black woman-owned for-profit small business. How many of you guys are based in the United States of America? Put me in the chat. How many of you guys are over the age of 18 and you're seeking grants for your business?
how many of you are black women for profit small business owners? How many of you are black women for profit small business owners based in the United States over the age of 18 seeking grants and you own at least 51% of your business? How many of you are black women for profit small business owners based in the United States over the age of 18 seeking a grant for your business own at least 51% and really want to start taking grants seriously this year applying and potentially winning before the end of the year. I want to invite you to visit blackwomeningrants.com. It is for black women for profit small business owners that are ready to start applying for funding. So we help you find grants to apply to because you know there's a grant for your business, right? We help you with the application process by walking you through what it looks like to apply for a grant, having your grant application strategy ready. What we just went through partially because we didn't even finish our full list of five things I got for y'all. We're going to pick up on part two in um, a future live. But our uh, we help you get, start getting your grant application strategy together. You got to have a strategy before you start applying. That's how you win. The secret to winning a grant is making sure you know how you're going to use the funds, what you need them for, why they should choose you, and how you're going to impact your community. So BlackWomenInGrants.com is our grant application mentorship for entrepreneurs. We won awards for it because our goal is to help revolutionize the way black women entrepreneurs understand what we call debt-free non-traditional business funding. And that's grants and grant-funded opportunities like getting a check in the mail, getting a check deposited into your business bank account, getting a scholarship to go through a business training and development program to hold your hand as you flesh out these parts of your business plan, like your marketing and your sales and how you're going to um, cater to your customers and hire a team and all the things y'all said y'all could use a grant for. There are um, business training and development programs that can help you Put that plan together. Put together what we call your SOPs or your standard operating procedures for every role that you want to hire for. So that when a grant says, how will you use these funds? You can say, I'm going to hire my first chief marketing operator or chief marketing officer. And here is their role. Here's what they're going to help take off my hands. I want to pay them to do it so that I can do other things like impact my community. Hello, somebody. So we help provide the tools and the information in the community that you need as a for-profit black woman small business owner. We want you to be equipped to make an educated decision on the type of funding that is available to your business because as we've established, there is a grant for your business. So we've gifted over $55,600 in partial scholarships. We have over 300 black women in our program. They're all learning how to find and secure grants and grant funded opportunities. So overall, our mentorship program will help you confidently prepare for and apply for future funding for your black woman owned for profit small business. I share my real life examples. I'm talking about so real that I got on here and did a live with y'all when a grant ghosted me last month and showed y'all how I handled it and moved on. It's real out here. It's not all roses. But when you follow the path that I've laid out, laid out, you can be like Raven, who we talked about at the top of the live. She's a black woman farmer in Baltimore who just won over $100,000 because of guidance on how to tell her story just like I taught her to do, just like I teach you to do in the mentorship. So I wrote this book because when I first got on TikTok last year, Doing these videos about grants, people begged me for mentorship. So I ended up writing a book called Finding Funding. You can only get the book in the mentorship over at blackwomenandgrants.com. I actually am offering the just the book for the next few hours. So you'll see that option on the website as well. But it's built inside the mentorship and it has my 25 top secrets 
to finding and securing small business grants and grant funded opportunities for black women for profit small business owners. It's also going to give you some ideas on if you don't know, like when I said, how would y'all use the funds? And a lot of y'all didn't say nothing. It was crickets. I'm going to give you 60 different business expenses that a grant can cover. You get that list. It's in the book. And so these are things that grants have covered for me. Everything from lunch to coffee to decorating my home office to sending me um, new technology like a, um, I got a new tablet. I got funding to um, get the computer I'm talking to you guys on. Um, I received a desk, a chair, a filing cabinet, a $500 shopping spree at Office Depot, Office Max, where I lost my mind. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. All covered by a grant and grant-funded opportunities. Now, to get to the other side, right, getting that new technology, getting the things that a grant can offer to you for free, because they got funds that are just waiting for you to apply for I give you copies of my some of my answers. Y'all don't need all of them. You just need the basics. So in the book, you're going to see there are about 27 plus frequently asked questions. That's on every small business grant application. That's a legit grant and not a scam. Um, it's a certain way you have to answer the question. Somebody asked me, you know, if there was a, like a secret language for grants. And the answer is yes. They're looking for you to tell your story a certain way. You want to include the tips I just shared with you about your social impact because it's going to show them how you stand out. I show you how I do all of those. I give you a list of grants to know which grants are available, totaling over $1.2 million. We have over 200 opportunities for finding these opportunities to see if they match up with what you're looking for a grant for in your business. All of that's included in the mentorship over at blackwomenandgrants.com. So whether you see yourself applying for free funding, checks to come in the mail, checks to be deposited into your business bank account, getting access to these business training and development programs that can further help you fund your business and put together your business uh, parts of your business plan and ideas for growth. So when you start going to pitch these grants, you'll be ready. I've laid out the template for exactly how I've done it and how the women in our program have done it. The last 10 women that reported how much in funding they've won. They've won over $298,000 this year collectively. That's a lot of money. So in the Finding Funding ebook, I share with you the fun finding tips, how to find these opportunities, how to apply, how to use the information we just went over today, how to avoid scams, because scams are out there. We got, yeah, they're, they're out there. And I want to make sure that you have the knowledge that you need. So whether you have to write an essay to apply for a grant telling your story or hop on a video, there are secret tips and tools that nobody else is going to be using. Trust me, if my application got picked out of 500 by using these tools, you want to know what I know. And so I share these exclusive tips that are tailored specifically for black women, small business owners, because a lot of people think that you can only win a grant as a nonprofit, and I'm here to tell you that is not the truth, Ruth. So you get to learn from real life grant applicants, not just me, but those that are applying, like Ashley Rankin, who I chatted with yesterday. She has applied to over five hundred thousand dollars in grants and has now won over twenty nine thousand dollars so far. So I share their case studies and their success stories and share other valuable resources is to help you master the art of grant applications. And as you learn how to apply for these opportunities, you're not worried about, is there a grant? Is there a grant? You know that there's a grant. And even if you don't win on the first go round, you are sharpening your skills every time you apply and you're getting feedback and follow up. And I show you how to do that. Good morning, Miss Mimi. And so if you're looking for help, with getting your business funded, like winning those grants, those scholarships, winning some contests and giveaways and competitions. If you want to hear how I got started winning, I won about $68,000 in less than six months. I introduce you to how I did it, 
through these business training and development programs and getting funded through them. Tips for avoiding scams, making sure you don't get caught up. <laughs> and then I show you how to answer those frequently asked questions on most small business grant applications you want to be ready for. Because I know a lot of people are asking, you know, how long does it take to win a grant? How long is the funding cycle? We break all that down based on how easy the application is. And believe it or not, the smaller the application, the harder the grant is to win. So I show you secrets to how to do that, okay? We'll give you a business grant application checklist too so that you go into the grant prepared. This is part of your strategy. This is a grant winning strategy. So if you come in with all the paperwork, like they may ask for you to have your business bank account, your tax identification number, um, articles of incorporation, um, other little things in between and you want to be ready. So there's a checklist we go through with you. Even if you haven't started your business yet, grants still have high expectations for startup businesses. So you want to have your ideas fully ready to explain to a grant why they should give you the funding and using this checklist, you're going to be prepared. If you feel like you've never been like a good essay writer or a good storyteller, I give you the grant essay writing tips and also examples of how I write my essays that get the checks written, okay? They writing and I'm writing. And my essays are so good that one of my last grant check writers, she wrote me two checks. And then she forced me to get on a podcast with her and tell her how I got her to write me two checks. She's a black lady. Our video is in the mentorship. And you'll see us being interviewed. Uh, we did a couple interviews, so I put one of them in the mentorship. And so if you could see yourself pitching your business, whether it's on video, whether it's in live pitch competitions like Eartha did, Eartha won the Black Girl Ventures, um, they called it Pull Up and Pitch. They did like a drive-by pitch tour here in Atlanta and other states. And Eartha, one of our Black Women in Grants mentees, won $250 in 60 seconds just for showing up and telling her business idea, which is to help rescue babies who were born not breathing. And she got funding for that. She was in the running for $10,000 and she got nervous. But using the tips that I showed her how to do, she won pigeon for the first time live in a stadium with a couple hundred people. So all of those examples, pitching, essay writing, pitching on video, all the ways that I've won, I'm showing you how to do it. And keeping true to the tips on how to win grants, how to find grants, how to apply for grants. Even having a conversation with people who have won grants and checking in to see how they did it. It's a process to that. And I give you a questionnaire to follow. I did it when I won second place for a $1,500 grant. Um, found the first place winner. She happened to be one of my neighbors. Lived 15 minutes away. Ended up having lunch with her and quizzing her. Girl, how you get number one? So I could say that next time and get as much money as you got. <laughs> and so I put my questionnaire inside of the program as well. This is in the book. We're just talking about the book right now. So if you're ready to start applying for grants and you're like, okay, what happens if the grant goes me or if I don't win or if I don't hear back or if I'm nervous, there is a follow-up letter that you could send to grants and I give you the exact scripting. You can literally, the book is an ebook, so you can literally copy and paste it, post it in an email and hit send to any grant to get feedback and follow up on your small business grant application, even if you're not selected right away. Um, Shanique, good morning, Tay. I didn't see y'all coming in. I've been talking. Where at? What were I at the DNC? No, I wasn't. Girl, I was at my house sleep. Um, good morning, Miss Mimi. She said I haven't been able to find your live. I'm happy I caught you this morning. I'm happy too. I'm a lot earlier than um I usually am. Bree says she bought the book and she's almost done. Bree, let me know if you got questions about anything you've read so far in the book. It's a great book. Deanna Joy got it. And she read it three times, and she has now won $76,000. She's now in line to be a million-dollar semifinalist for a million-dollar grant. So if you want to learn the specifics and the tips for um, applying for these grants, blackwomenandgrants.com is the place to be right now. 
I teach you how to use AI, like ChatGPT. Some people think they know how to do it, but I promise you don't know how to do it like I do it. That's what got me selected out of 500 applications. AI, I wrote the whole thing with ChatGPT, and I share what scripts, what engineered prompts that you need to be putting in there. So, it makes essay writing easy. It makes video scripting easy. And I share a case study with you about one of our mentees that um, was the inspiration behind this idea, how you can start pulling that together, and we walk through how you can better explain your ideas on these grants. Oh, Tay, you say you're not the only one. Oh, Tay, I got a tip for you. You weren't here, girl. We did like a late night live. You missed it, girl. You probably was in the pool somewhere. Uh, I'm going to share it with you because I thought of you when this lady shared it with us. So I'm going to tell you in a minute. Hold on. Bree says, I'm writing down all of my questions because I'm so ready to learn. Tay is in the mentorship. She said, y'all better get in the game. These videos are very helpful as well. Good. So that's the book. It's over at blackwomenandgrants.com. It comes with a app that's going to download and read the book to you on your device, whichever one you choose to use. And then, y'all, we've done some replays for some virtual events I've hosted where I share my step-by-step walkthrough of how you can continue to develop this grant application strategy. Because I know a lot of y'all brains are warm right now because of everything we talked about. You're like, oh my gosh, I need a social impact. We did a two-day boot camp at the top of this year. You got to watch it. It is so good. I taught it, so you know. Um, but if you really want your grant application to stand out, if you really want to be able to compete, because it's a competition, it's a game, you're going to either win some or learn or both at the same time. So our video replays are trainings that is full of ideas and insider uh, tips and secrets for how you can find grants. So it teaches you where to look. For grants. So yes, I'm going to send you a list of grants totaling over $1.2 million in funding that is available. Should you so choose to click the link, read it and apply when the applications are open. There are also 13 secret sources for where to find grants and you can get grants to come to you. I don't know if y'all know that they're not going to come to you in your social media inbox. Trust that, but they can come to you in other ways. And I teach you how to do that. Um, it's a 12 second video that's in the mentorship that teaches you that walkthrough. So depending on where you are in your business, like whether it's a startup or whether you started it and you've been in business, you've been making money. I teach you what types of grants to apply for based on where you are in your small business phase. Um, and then we talk about like what grants shouldn't be used for. Cause some stuff y'all ain't gonna get no grants for it. It's just flat out. But <laughs> If you have a goal to win grants for specifics in your business, and you can break it down how I just started teaching you guys how to do it today with your social impact and the difference between you and your competition, then you're going to be ready to hit your grant goals. And your grant goal is whatever amount in funding that you're going for. There's a strategy to that. So I teach you what to look for, what to look out for, making sure that you're applying for legit grant opportunities that your business qualifies for. And this is the most important things. Again, a lot of people think that only four, um, nonprofits can win grants. For profits win grants. I just told you guys we're at over a quarter of a million dollars in grant wins as black women, for profit small business owners this year. We still got four months left in this year. <coughs> what questions y'all got for me? Let me know. Put it in the chat. <coughs> Excuse me. Are there any questions? <coughs> Give me a cough drop. Any ahas, any takeaways? Is it helping? Definitely helping. Okay. 
over at blackwomeningrants.com, that's where I'm sharing with you guys the mentorship program. And I was telling you how we um, break down the difference between like a nonprofit and a for-profit grant. You'll be surprised at what you can learn about the for-profit grant application space and how it's so different than nonprofits. And so I make sure that you understand the difference coming in so that you don't get discouraged. It's a lot easier to apply for a for-profit grant. So that's why we stick with those. <coughs> Nonprofits usually don't qualify for the types of grants we win. And so we give you a list as well of the top business incubator and accelerator programs. Remember those business training and development programs I talked about where you can get a scholarship to go through it. We have a partnership with about six different programs that can help you with anything from learning how to do business to business partnerships. Pitch your business um, with what we call a pitch deck. So when you start doing these small business pitch competitions, you have to have your pitch deck ready. And so um, one of the programs gives you a full template for what should be in there. Um, and if you want to get into things like public relations and marketing and sales for just your regular everyday business, getting help with branding and web design and email marketing, social media marketing and goal setting, those programs that we partnership helps you fill in the blanks with those portions of your business as you're applying for grants and grant funded opportunities. <coughs> Are there any questions? Let me know. Those of you wondering where to find grants, we give you the 12 month subscription to over $1.2 million in grants to apply for. Lakari says, how long does it usually take before the grant is awarded? About 90 days is the minimum. So when I mentioned the grant funding cycle <coughs> that the book addresses, let me break it down. So grants have an application open date, the time that they actually launch on their site where you can click and either download the application or go inside of the system that they're using to house the application that you'll fill out and submit. And they're open um, for a minimum of 30 days. So that's 30 days right off the bat. Then they have their closing date. Then they have um, the time that they need to deliberate and um, calculate your scores because your application is literally graded. So they use like a, um, what do you call it? Like a rubric, like a grading scale. If you're familiar with that from school where your teacher says like 33% of your grade is this. 33% of your grade is that. Grants literally have that. And so that also means that you got to be on top of your answers because they're looking for how well you describe your social, Im <coughs> excuse me, your social impact, but also whether or not the vision that you have for growing your business aligns with the reason they're giving the grant. And so you have to be prepared. Um, so depending on what your score is at the end, then they're going to have to, you know, sort you based on your scores. Who has the highest score? Is there a tie, etc.? Then they make the decision. Then they alert their winners privately first. Then they um will tell you you can't tell nobody you won yet. Then they make the announcement publicly in like a press release on their website, on their social medias, and in their email newsletters. So that's typically a minimum of a 90-day period. I think the longest I've seen is between six months to a year. So make sure that these grant funds will be in addition to the money your business is already making and you won't be waiting on it to like pay a bill or try to rescue your business financially. 
So in the mentorship, um, we've done master classes. We have done a five-step grant guide. We walk through AI and we walk through how to tell a really good story that's going to get you in the top rankings of those scores because we use <clears throat> the grading rubrics from a $50,000 grant, uh, actually two different $50,000 grants sharing like how to tell your story to get higher points that actually helps you to win the grants get the checks written what to say what not to say what you probably want to leave off the application but also breaking down like following the 30-day grant application game plan so if you do this one thing every day for 30 days here's what you can expect so when i did my game plan i spent 30 days applying for a grant every day for 30 days <clears throat> At the end, I had applied to over $500,000 in grant funding. And so we have other students that are using that same method. And I've interviewed those who have won. Like Deanna Joyce, she won $76,000 so far. We interviewed her and picked her brain. Ashley Rankin, who's won a total of $29,000 so far. She just won two grants within the last 30 days. She won a grant from L'Oreal for $10,000 to launch her new skincare line. And she's still winning because she followed this process. She applied, applied, applied. She now has over $500,000 in applications out there. And now her winnings are coming in back to back to back. So we call that grant stacking where you apply to multiple grants at once so that the money comes in at once, you know. And so we've done a lot of work to help prepare you to go out into the grant game and start to win this funding. Not just learn about it, not just sit on this information, but to become a part of winners. That's what we're doing. And so I've been doing lives here with y'all since May of last year. And we have over 200, almost 300 videos from these TikToks that I download and share with you guys. So you get all the replays that are in our video replay playlist from our TikTok. So you can learn everything I've been teaching from the very beginning. And so all of that is part of the grant game mentorship over at blackwomeningrants.com. And it's only $97, y'all. This course is valued at over $5,000, but you pay $97 thanks to a scholarship fund that we have available. So it's one-time payment. It's year-long access. You get to come join us for a full year for only 97 bucks. Get help for all of this. Plus, I'm live with you guys here on TikTok three times a week. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Usually at 11 a.m., but I came on super early today. 11 a.m. Eastern. So, all of that's part of the mentorship. So, come join us. We have a couple of scholarships available today. And they are first, first come, first serve. So, you got to jump on it. Black women. Ingrants.com is the site. Black women in grants.com is the site. What questions can I answer for you about the mentorship, about what we talked about today with your social impact, um, how to stand out on these grant applications, and then being able to really articulate how you're going to use the funds to help your community because these are the types of grants and grant funded opportunities that are currently available and it's what grants are looking for on your application to help you stand out and win so if you really can see yourself as a future grant winner ask me a question <clears throat> let me know my voice is not voicing because i've been on here live with y'all like twice a day for the last few days teaching you can tell i love this right so if you have a question now is the time to ask if you're in the mentorship and you have a question about anything you've read in the book watched on the videos, heard on the audios, or if you have a grant application that you got pulled up, but one of the questions got you stuck and stumped and you really don't know how to answer them, now is your time to get mentored. So let me know. Um, if we need to, we can open up the live and bring you on to answer the questions. I'm going to reserve that for our grant gamers. What questions you got? Hello, Kiara. Welcome. Any aha moments or takeaways from what you've learned? Put it in the chat. Tell me what you've learned today. Um, Tay says, besides the social impact, what other ways to stand out? Making sure that you're answering the questions. Um, a la the lady who wrote me the two grant checks said that's the thing she saw the most out of hundreds of applications. They were basically considered incomplete. So if they ask you a question, answer the question they're asking. 
I don't know if y'all remember um, Raven, the six-figure grant winner, when she came on and did her interview here. She said she believed she won her six figures because she only answered what they asked. She said, Dr. AJ, you tell us not to give too much information. So holding back some stuff, being very clear on the questions that they do ask, and making sure you're staying on topic and answering those questions. Because I've seen some people who try to change the rules of the application. And that's instant disqualification. This ain't your game. You can't come changing stuff. So, answer the question they ask. Be clear so that your application is not considered incomplete or you get disqualified. That's one of the main things. Stay on topic. <laughs> Lala says, using clear and extremely detailed information, that's her takeaway. And that, you want it, girl. You've been taking notes. Shauna says, if I miss this, I'm sorry. I'm at work, so I'm in and out. But how do we know it's too, what's too much if we need to be detailed? Um, they have literal word counts on these applications. So if they say in 500 words or less, Tell us why you started your business and you want to put 501 and that little thing, the word counter turns red and you still submit it. You're literally breaking the rules and disqualify. So that's how you know it's too much. So you need to be able to edit your story down to meet what they're asking for. If you reread your answer, ask yourself, does this answer the question they've asked? One of my clients does a really good job with answering incomplete sentences. You know where they're saying... What's your founder's story or what's the reason you started the story? She will literally, to keep herself on track, answering the right question in the right amount of words, say, my reason for founding my business is, and that keeps her on track, answering the question that they asked. So she knows when she goes back to reread her answers, it's the literal repetition of the question in the first part of her answer. So details are not like, I had started my business and then my mama had did this and my dad, and that's not detailed. Details are, for example, for us here at Black Women in Grants, Black women are the largest population of people who start businesses. However, 70% of Black women entrepreneurs never make more than $25,000 a year. 40% of the businesses that closed during COVID will never open again. That's detail. That's specifics. That's numbers. That's statistics. It makes your answers clearer. Versus, well, you know, COVID made us, you know, struggle. So we ain't really been able to pay no bills. And then my mama had, no, not them type of details, babes. Come back. So if you want to know how to do that, we lay all of that out in the Grant Game Mentorship. Miss Mimi says, I've never applied for a grant, but I like to learn how to make my business appealing to them. Blackwomeningrants.com is a great place to start. I've been on here with y'all for about an hour. So TikTok and my voice will not allow me to teach you everything you need to know during our short time together. But I put it all in the mentorship over at Blackwomeningrants.com. Yeah, it helps to restate the question, but keep in mind they are counting your words. So if it helps you to restate the question to stay on track, do it. To make sure you're answering the right question. Yep. You said you're a tad bit discouraged. Not going to lie. Why? You just learned a lot of what you need to get started. Some people couldn't be here. Had to leave early. Ain't listening. You got gems that they wish they had. Why you discouraged, child? <laughs> What's the average amount of time that people join your program and then start applying for grants? You can start applying for grants right away. You get access to the links. Today, we get a link updated every month, one about to come out next week as well. So at the top of the month, we have a team of three people that put together three separate lists of grants. So I try to rush and open it as soon as I get it because you want to be first to know. These are not grants that just came out. Some of them have been out for a minute. So you really don't want leftovers. You want to be at the top of the list. And so you can click a grant today and go read about it, make sure it meets the qualifications of your what you're looking for a grant for what they're looking to give the money for get your application in before the deadline 
Um, but you can start applying right away, but you don't want to dive in uneducated either. So the mentorship is 24 hours worth of learning. That includes the book, having the app read it to you or you read it. <laughs> that includes the videos, the audios. We got a worksheet in there. We got interviews with grant winners, teaching your, you their secrets to how they won um, over $298,000 so far this year as a collective. So there are three interviews in there with that. Our last hundred thousand dollar winner. So I don't know about y'all, but if it was me and I was new to a skill like finding and applying for grants for my business, I would want to learn from experts first. And then be like I'm doing that right now. After I get off here with y'all, I'm jumping onto a podcast that has three hundred episodes. I've listened to half of them and I'm literally taking notes. I would want to learn from someone who is where I want to go. Then go play the game. Because now you're coming in with new knowledge. Um, one of my mentors has a son who just made the basketball team. And this man, I don't know where his confidence comes from, but he is just so confident. And I'd be looking at him like, you are delusional. I actually told him that. He said, I'm going to see how much Michael Jordan charges to privately mentor my son. Sir, Michael Jordan? But I couldn't tell him that. Um, so I just sat back and listened. Like, he really, he really going to look into it? Like, who thinks like that? People who want to learn from experts who want those tips. He didn't want his son going in head first to a game he's never played. Why not learn from the best? I'm like, I want that type of confidence. So that's the type of confidence that comes when you, number one, can afford to do something like that. But number two can learn from others who've done it successfully. Why not? Minus well. So anyway, that's just a thought. I love learning from experts and seeing people in their zone. Like grants are my jam. Y'all can tell I love talking about it. I woke up this morning and got on here with y'all way earlier than I'm supposed to be up. <laughs> so, all that said, you can apply for grants today and you want to learn from experts first. So if I were you, I would get the list, I would look at the list, I would click on the list, see what they require. We call that read, research, and review. So read their fine print, read their um, official rules, read their terms and conditions, hear about others who have won the grant. We teach you how to do that. Listen to interviews with experts. I've even listened to podcasts with the founders of the grant before going to apply. I want to learn everything I can on how to play this game because I ain't coming just to play because it's cute. I'm coming to win, babe. Put my name on your website right now. Let me see. Good idea. Be literal. Oh, Tay says, Dr. AJ, don't forget to tell me what you spoke on last night when you thought of me. Thank you, Tay. So, there was a lady teaching me the updates to TikTok. And she said that when you follow this page and you click that notification that you have to tell it to notify you of lives when I'm live and tell it to notify you of when I post. I didn't know you had to do both. I knew it was at least one of them to click. So you may have to reset that. Just go check, uncheck, see if that resets your notifications. Tell it to notify you of the lives and to notify you of when I post. Um, so that was one thing. What was the other thing? I think that was the main thing for you. Cause, um, it was either Ashley or someone else that was on the live. And we talked about that. And I said, I wonder what this helped Tay. I'm going to share it with her when I see her again. You said you did that yesterday. So I don't know. Other than installing, restyling TikTok. Those are the only two solutions we came up <laughs> with. And so that is really weird. Because we have 69,000 of y'all here. And I'm like, I know there's supposed to be way more people on our lives. But we get more people that just are scrolling TikTok and find us. Or when y'all share it out um, by putting hashtag FYP. So it's very interesting. Um, so we can keep looking into it. Let's see what TikTok doing. Because we don't know y'all. But that's what I thought of when I, I thought of you when I heard it. The lives, Miss Alice, are Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 11 a.m. I'm just really early today, so I may be back later today, but that's our regular schedule. I also do pop-up lives on days in between, but our regular schedule, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern. The Son of God says, yes, that, what in the world? Oh, he's looking at my car. 
<laughs> I'm sitting by the window being nosy. People be slowing down. I don't like when they slow down. What you finna do? What? Anyway. Um, yes, that's what I mean. The average amount of time people join then successfully apply. Thank you. You are welcome. Crazy. I did. That. Oh, you said that. TikTok. Yeah, they stress me out too, child. I just show up and hope for the best. So what also helps is just set your alarm, 11 a.m. Eastern. But the pop-ups, you know, they be random. So I don't know, girl. <laughs> You're welcome from Killeen, Texas. What final questions do you guys have before I go? If you're over at blackwomeningrants.com claiming one of the scholarships and you need my help getting logged into the portal, let me know. I'm happy to help. Again, it's only $97 to come join us for a whole year. One-time payment. Year-long access. So excited for y'all. That is changing soon as well. The price and all that, y'all. My coach got me doing so much homework for this program updating and bringing y'all to next year we have started officially planning for next year and i'm excited so get in while and where you can fit in hunty that is exactly what i need her to be joining soon there are payment arrangements there's klarna there's afterpay there's a firm there's clear so if you need payment arrangements on the 97 dollars it's there Shauna says, I'm signing up. Using my personal money is getting <laughs> crazy. Wait a minute, y'all. Something not right. This man just rode past twice on a motorcycle. I can't tell if it's a police. But he's specifically looking at my house every time he rides. I don't like it. What does that mean? Hmm. Anyway, I don't like it either, girl. He like drops his hand, turns his head this way, and you can't see me. I'm sitting by the window. I can see outside, but they can't see in here. So I don't know what he's looking at, what he's looking for. Unless my neighbor in the window naked somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. What you look? Look at the other way. Well, my neighbor got a ring camera, so we can pick up everything. They can see packages on our porch. You got something from Amazon? Man, why is you looking at my house? So anyway, y'all got any final questions before we go? Let me know. How do you answer professionally that you have not raised funds for your business? You let them know that you're in the fundraising round or that you're raising capital, currently pursuing funding. You see how good that sounds versus, child, we broke. I'm waiting to win. Um, and if it helps, you put in, like this is what Ashley and I have um, went through for her applications. Tell them, so far, I've applied to over $500,000 in future funding, currently awaiting decisions, looking forward to receiving um, acceptance letters from or award letters from over $500,000 in grants and grant funded opportunities. You also tell them so far in my business on my own, just from sales, here's how much I have made. Here's how much I'm looking to raise in grants. Hopefully you can be a part of that fundraising round. You see how good that sounds? Real professional, very demure. <laughs> Eat some fruit and clear your energy. Did I eat fruit today yet? I have not. I actually got to go to the grocery store. Um, I do have smoothies, though. I have some um, cold-pressed juices in the fridge that are fruit and vegetable-based. So thank you for that reminder. He ain't going to bother nothing because the blood of Jesus is here, first of all. That's why he let me see it. He's protecting me from danger seen and unseen. Hallelujah. So we good. We good. Very demure. Very mindful of looking over here what you want sir um so i didn't create my business tiktok yet is that okay yeah oh you mean the sign apart yeah that's fine but but put shauna ray that's what's in your handle i just like to know um i only know y'all by your tiktok name so put the tiktok name that i'm looking at right now and i'm like oh that's shauna ray but when we um do classes and stuff y'all come on and want to put your government name i'd be like who is that i only know shauna ray so anyway, that's what that's for on the registration page. <laughs> so thank you for asking. 
Hello, Kelly, one of our subscribers. How are you? Hey, Lisa. Welcome. Hey, Shamil. Hey, girl. I was doing something. Oh, okay. Does one's business need to have earned income in order to get grants? Not at all. They call them startup grants or um, for businesses that are in pre-revenue. That means you ain't made no money yet. So, no. You don't have to have earned income. Make, just make sure that that's the type of grant you're applying to, specifically for startups that have not earned income yet or are still in pre-revenue. That way, um, you don't get stuck with one of the grants like, you can be new in business, but we need you to have at least experimented with sales and made a million dollars. Because some of them will have income requirements. Yes, I'm online looking to apply now. You mean for the mentorship program? Let me know. Yes, mine is a startup clothing brand. So yeah, they just want you to have your facts and figures. You're going to need your, your budget figured out and drop the amount in there oh refer okay you're welcome what other questions y'all got for me let me know y'all been hanging out with me this morning y'all either some early birds or y'all nosy or both <laughs> We got more people on here right now than my regular time. Do we need to change it to 7 a.m.? I ain't going to do it, but uh, here we are. And if you haven't had business partnerships yet, that's fine. So um, I consider grants and like when you get approved for scholarships for these programs, those are partnerships. Like they're coming together to partner with you on your business idea to help you grow it. And so, um, but I meet a lot of y'all that have done some great things in your business, magazine features and spoken on stage with celebrities and TEDx talks and been in movies and documentaries. Those are partnerships to be proud of. So sometimes as black women, we forget to brag on ourselves and our accomplishments or, you know, we're so busy hitting the mark, making these milestones that we forget to stop and celebrate. So those professional milestones on the application is just a reminder to tell these people how great you already are. Their grant will just help lift you, you know, a little bit higher. And they can choose to celebrate you and come with you or hear about you. Somebody else going to give you that money. So, that's what that is. Yep, smoothies are life. I went and stocked up yesterday or the day before. I try to get like a week week's worth. Just go to the juice bar and stock up. That way I don't have to make it at home. Even though I got the same stuff they got in that shop right in my freezer. <laughs> but I like to just pull out it, uh, a bottle and go. So, that's what I'm going to do. After this, when I decide on lunch, and I'll have one of my juices on the side. But I've been teaching twice a day, every day, for almost 30 days. So that's what that is, all this coughing. Mm -hmm. um, Tay said, I, I mean, I'm currently working on it right now. Okay, so Tay, re-ask me your question. I'll make sure I understand it. So oh, I recently presented for the second. Recently presented for the second for Sigma Gamma Rose Swim Program. Oh, congratulations. Uh, now, that's the perfect... So, I don't know how SG Row does it, but I know the Deltas... Um, We had an intern that was in... I said she was in Deltas. I think we had several Delta interns and AKAs. And so, I partnered with the local college here for interns. So, they did a, a college fair. And so, the ladies, they had a business fraternity. We had Deltas. We had AKAs that were interning for me. And so, when they got to the portion of their community service, they wanted to educate the crew about um entrepreneurship and so they hired me to come in and speak and that's a great partnership for social impact for the next generation you see how that goes so finding organizations that already have social impact built into what they do and partnering with them is a great way to kind of launch your own social impact program because now you can tell a grant helping the next generation learn about what i do and here's how that helps them to meet their goals as well which is community service, etc. So good job, girl. Alicia says, "Hi, is there any grants for someone that just have that just have the business plan?" 
What's your business? And most grants don't ask for a business plan, so that don't matter. You don't have to have a business plan to apply for a grant. All right, y'all, final call for questions. I'm ready to get to work today. I, for some reason, the last week have been, like, getting it in over here, honey. Planning stuff and actually doing my homework for classes. Always getting stuck on your question checklist. Okay, so ask me a specific question from the question checklist, and let me help you real quick. Let's do one question at a time. Do our ideas sound like good endeavors? When you say our ideas, you speaking for everybody or you just want me to tell you about yours? Let me know. <laughs> Shauna signed up. Congratulations, Shauna, on claiming your scholarship for the mentorship. Welcome to the grant game. Make sure you click that second page. Oh, I see you did it. Go, girl. You follow directions and take action. That's what I'm Tim at. Let me let you in. There you go. Should have just got an email from me. Welcome to the great game. You're about to have so much fun. I don't know if you a nerd like me, but girl, I love learning. Ugh. And then it works. When I see people putting the information, I'll be like, oh, let me go do that. That's why I'm ready to get to work today because I'm following a lady who um, was the first black millionaire in our coaching program. I'm like, I'm trying to be number two. Come on now. I've won over a million dollars in grants. I now need that in my bank account. Amen. Amen. So, let me go learn from the best. Forget about the rest. <laughs> okay, let me see. Macy. Okay, Macy. Now, I've told y'all I've combined y'all's businesses. So, remind me of what your business was. And I'm not going to tell you if it's a good idea. I don't know. <laughs> but I could help you answer some grant questions using that idea. So, hurry up and remind me what you're doing. Let's, let's talk. Okay, Shauna says, yes, ma'am, let's get it. That means you got the email, right? Let me know, because I want to make sure it comes through. What's the best estimate of the size of the market your business will operate in? That's for you, ChatGPT, and Google to find out. And I'm not being funny, because I don't know nothing about swimming. But you do. You can find the, um, the, the what do you call it? The statistic for the amount of people that have drowned in your area, because I know that's, as a swim instructor, that's your goal, Tay. Is to help people not drown. So you can find the statistics for the number of people who have drowned. The statistics for the um, schools that are already in your area. How many are they serving? Are you filling in the gap for those who they can't serve? Or are you trying to com compete with those other schools? So um, ask ChatGPT as well. It's going to help you expand your brain. So put that question in there just like that. Using the other prompts that I teach you in the mentorship with you applying for the grants and um tell me what you come up with because it's, it's a great question but you can only answer it being in the industry with the experience that you have and only you know what that is so pair it with a brain that's like yours but knows more that's known as chat dbt and let me know what y'all discover mm-hmm mm-hmm Textile re Oh, Macy. Okay, so you did the textile recycling with the socks and the bed covers and the pillows for the shelters. We still don't know what textile recycling is. So, again, I'm not going to say if it's a good or a bad idea. I told you I love it as social impact. I think that's a phenomenal, um, like, cause to support. I can't tell you if it's a good or a bad business idea because I ain't never did it. So, I don't know. You could be a secret millionaire. You just acting like you don't know that. But, I uh, <laughs> What I can tell you is to, number one, explain what textile recycling is. Number two, tell the stories of people who benefit from it. Number three, tell why you want to have an impact like, like that or run a business like that and talk about the success you've had or the success you're looking forward to. And number four, tell a grant why they should give you money for it. Oh, okay, recycling clothes like you would aluminum or metal or plastic. Yeah, so let's say you go do research, meaning go to Google and type in how much money can you get from recycling clothes? How much money do aluminum or metal plastic recyclers get? That'll tell you whether or not it's a profitable idea. And then do the statistics on how much aluminum they're saving in the world. How much 
um, how many pounds of recycling can I save from doing textile recycling? You still gonna have to explain that what it is to a grant. So you can get frustrated for a little bit, but then just get ready to keep answering that question because that's gonna be on every grant application. They're gonna say describe your business. You could say textile recycling. Some people will know what it is, but act like nobody's ever heard of your business in life because some people will not have. So keep that in mind. Most of us don't know what you're talking about. But if you tell us the story of, there are 100 shelters within a 100-mile radius of my city. The homeless population is a million percent. Most of them during winter months need hats, gloves, socks, shoes, and a place to stay, cover, a pillow to sleep on, etc. Here's how my business, Textile Recycling, can help with your donation. With all this grant money of blah, 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 we can help 35 people today. You see what I'm saying? Lead it back to their pockets, but tell them that story about your business and why you started it. Amen. Making sense? Helping? Let me know. Mimi Oliver, welcome girl. Welcome to the Grant Game. Congratulations on claiming your scholarship. Yay! So glad that you guys are joining us. Y'all got so much to look forward to. It's a lot of fun. I think I'm about to listen to the interviews today myself. I'll be going back through the training like, oh, this is good. I forgot I said that. Well, welcome, Miss Mimi. Make sure you click that second link. There you go. You did. So y'all are doing good today. Usually I be having to wait like, girl, click the link so I can let you in. Okay, so let me let you in to the program portal. There we go. I just sent you an email. Let me know you got it. And Shauna, did you get your email letting you into the portal? That's where your welcome packet is. And everything you need to be successful in this program lies within the link. Click the link, Shauna. Well, you clicked it, but just let me know your email came back. <laughs> you got my email. You are welcome. What other questions y'all got for me? Let me know. I'm trying to decide what's... Oh, I know what I want for lunch. I had some chicken and cheese nachos this week earlier. I've been thinking about that all week. That's where I'm going for lunch today. I was trying to like allow space in between time because it's a lot of salt in it. But I'm about to make the sacrifice today. Because girl, when I say that chicken was so good. That's what I'm having for lunch. Chicken and cheese nachos. Hello, Claudette. How are you? I'm trying to decide if I'm going to walk there, drive there, or order DoorDash. What y'all think? Shauna says I'm accessing it from my laptop. Got it. So the good part is you can ask, access it. I'll be using my phone. I'll be using the um, tablet and the bapruda, as my little niece used to call it. So either way, it's accessible on all of your devices. Ain't that cool? I think it's cool. And I watch our videos on my big screen. So I'll be watching myself on video on our big screen. So you can do that too. We have a private um, YouTube channel with all the replays. You get to watch these crazy replays from the beginning. In the beginning, I did for the last, I've only been off screen for about three months now. But for a full year, y'all get to see me on screen. I've been going through my healing era of um, healing from severe anemia to blood transfusions and all that. So I'm still building up energy to get back on camera with y'all. But until then, we can talk. Like we are business besties on this audio feature. Amen. And I thank God for that. It's better than nothing. So, just heads up. When you click on the replays, you be like, oh, that is her. Oh, my goodness. She is so gorgeous. Just like that. Did it show I clicked that? It did. It showed that you clicked it and I let you in, but I wanted to make sure you got the link because the number one thing I hear from y'all is, I can't find the email with the link that lets me in. So when you click it and it lets me 
re-email you like, Dr. AJ Austin has let you in the program. All you got to do is search my name in your email and you'll always have access to how to get back into the program. It's the easiest thing. So that's why I'd be like, let me know you got the email so you can get back in when we're no longer alive. That's all. There we go. So I see you sending another one. And so let me let you into this. One. Okay, my stomach growling. I started talking about nachos. <laughs> uh, Shana said, you, didn't, you got the link. It shows that you clicked it twice. You got it. The link that you just clicked. Let me check your email. So it got your Gmail, your Russ Gmail, and it got it's real simple. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. And it got it got you and Mimi in here. And then it got it must have registered another email too. See, that's what it is trying to act like it's us. So it got your Rust one and it got your Escapes one. So you can get in with either one of those emails. It's, it got both of those registered. So you welcome multitasking, trying to act like it's us. Don't be blaming us. I'm over here looking at your name twice. You just a clicking and a talking. <laughs> we got you, girl. Any other questions before I go? Did y'all learn something today? Y'all have really been hanging out with me. Tell me one thing you're walking away with today. You're like, I'm going to take this tip and do this. That's what Raven did. She already had everything she needed. She was a professional at applying for stuff. But she just needed that one tip that I shared with her from the mentorship with how to tell her story as she applied. And that's when she won her $100,710 check that she sent me a beautiful picture of. You can see that picture over at blackwomanandgrants.com where you come join us in our mentorship. The mentorship, again, is only $97. One payment of $97. Get a full year in the program with us. Come learn how to win this shmoney, how to find it, how to apply for it, what to say on the applications, how to stand out. How to be one of the winners. I learned to answer the questions they ask right. Do that. Stay on task. Um, it also helps. I got to see how we can do this. But I'm in a, um, a mastermind with other grant professionals. They're in the, the nonprofit space. And so they in the nonprofit space can. They can do. It's two things that I don't know if we can do. But one of them that I remember was. Um basically asking for the grant winners original application i don't know if we can do that but i'm gonna figure it out because can you imagine the person that won the grant before you you get a copy of their application to see what they put now you can't copy them because they've already won y'all don't ain't gonna have the same business and the grant will know if you literally copied and pasted answers from their winner but to see what it takes from a winner's perspective. Now, I've started that process for you guys in the mentorship. I put one of my grant winning applications in the mentorship for a fellowship that I won last year for $2,500. So y'all get to see my application and it's graded and in red ink. If the book was in color, you would see the red. But um, they tell you why they awarded me the funding. And then I wrote them an email saying, why did you award me? Trying to act like I didn't know. They didn't know that I could see my score. And so they wrote me an email says, here's why we gave you the funding. We basically can see your legacy in how you're building this business and we wanted to support it. So that gets you started on just what, it, what a win grant winning application looks like. But I'm also trying to take us to the next level and find like, I want the grant winning application for this grant that I'm about to go apply to that y'all gave money to the person before me so that I can learn from them. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. That do you have an email newsletter? I do for the people who are in our mentorship. Blackwomeningrants.com is how you sign up. You said you tried to sign up. It didn't let you. What did it say? What error message did you get? Let me know. Shauna says, glad I found you. I was in master class last night and it was $600. Almost did it. God said, be patient. Girl, you could sponsor five other ladies to come learn with you for $600. Yes, ma'am.
Okay, I just looked it up. The Mexican restaurant opens at 11 a.m., so I got a whole hour before my chicken nachos. Should I wait? Or, oh, well, maybe I can go do my juice and then get my nachos. Okay, yeah, that's going to work. Um, What other questions y'all got? <laughs> Son of God, what is the... Link you on the did you go to blackwomenengrants.com? That is my website, but you should be on blackwomenengrants.com on the site. Same site, different links. And so when you click, click where it says click the button below to join the grant game mentorship, what happens? You said it won't let you sign up. Tell me what it's doing or not doing for you. Let's figure this out. Any other questions, ahas, or takeaways? Y'all let me know, soldiers. It is Friday, y'all. It's been feeling like Friday all week for me. And then finally get here and I'm like, what day is it again? You click subscribe at the bottom. It's okay, it's all weird. Oh, no, that might not. Well, that button might not work. You're trying to sign up for the email list that don't exist for anyone outside of the mentorship. Got it. All right, y'all. Well, thank y'all for hanging out. I may be back later today. Turn your notifications on. Hopefully, TikTok will notify you. I don't know what's going on with the notifications. It would make sense if they notified y'all, especially since you signed up to follow the page and get notified but um we'll see if not just mark your calendar set your alarm i have to set my alarm to be here with y'all it went off already but i was already on here with y'all so usually i'm here mondays wednesdays and fridays at 11 a.m eastern standard time also do pop-ups as you can see i also may come on earlier so if nothing else you'll know when we're supposed to be live <laughs> and come join us until we meet again my friends you guys have a phenomenal rest of your day you are very welcome thank y'all for joining and engaging um come back now you hear god bless bye future grant winners